Now that your app is ready, uh, I'm sure you want to publish it, like to deploy it. Um, let's see together the steps you need to follow in order to properly launch your app. First, you want to review your app and make sure it is properly responsive. So go to the responsive tab and uh, just check if it works properly. Um, I encourage you also to preview it to preview it, so by clicking on preview, and to uh, really use it as a user would, like really do all the possible workflows, like test everything, and also test it on the phone, uh, so you can really interact with it and see if it's user-friendly. Uh, so let's test this uh, app, for example. Okay, it works. So this is the first step. Check that your app is working. Um, the next step, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, an error in my app on purpose. Oh, sorry. I'm going to introduce an error in my app so you can see the issue checker. So here, um, at the top, you can see one issue. This thing is called the issue checker and it is a very, very helpful feature in Bubble. I really like this feature because when you are a beginner, you are making a lot of mistakes and you don't even realize you're making them. And so this thing is pointing the mistakes and you cannot publish your app until you've fixed these mistakes. So you click on this and next you click on the issue you'd like to fix and it will show you where the problem is. So it's very helpful because uh, without this feature, you could spend hours trying to figure out why your app is not working. So it is pointing you the problems in your app. So great, now it is fixed. Before publishing your app, you also need to make sure you set up privacy rules and that you make your app SEO friendly. Uh, I've included in the text down below uh, two links to videos about privacy rules and SEO. Uh, so you, you really need to make sure to check this video before publishing your app. Okay, next, uh, you should go uh, in the settings tab and uh, go uh, in the general tab and make sure that everything like is set up uh, as you would like it to be. For example, here, my app is not private. Like everyone can see uh, the back office of my app. So maybe you want uh, your app to be private. Uh, I I'm almost sure you want your app to be private. Um, maybe you also want to activate a two-factor authentication. I highly recommend you to do so. Uh, it means that whenever you will uh, connect to your Bubble app, you will need to enter, uh, yes, a two-factor authentication so it's more secure. It is more secure. Um, you should also change your favicon. So it is the small uh, icon that shows up in, your, in the browser, so you should change it also. Uh, you can change the progress bar color when the app is uh, charging. And uh, yeah, so you should check like actually like all the tabs to make sure it is okay for you. And um, if you want to set up a custom domain, uh, you should do it in the domain email tab. Uh, note that you can only do this if you are on a paid plan. So if you want a custom domain, uh, you should upgrade before uh, adding your domain. So to set up your domain, it is here. Uh, you can choose whatever uh, domain um, provider that you like. So if you need a new domain name, you can buy it uh, wherever you want and you will be able to use it uh, for your Bubble app. Um, yeah. So when uh, this is done, when you have set up your domain, if you like a domain, like if you don't need a custom domain, you will just have, you will just have a regular like bubble uh, URL. Now that you have checked that your app is working properly, uh, you, are, you are going to be able to deploy it. Um, so, uh, this whole time we have been working on the development version of your app. So, as you can see at the top here, you can see it is the development version. It means it is a test version, uh, it is not public. Uh, so, uh, to deploy your, ver your live version, you just click on development and you hit uh, deploy current version to live. So, this is super exciting. Uh, let's write launch 
I recommend you to write something super clear. So, for example, the first time you deploy, uh, you can write launch. But, for example, if you make edits on, uh, I don't know, uh, here, like the price, uh, maybe next time you will put price. Like, each time you edit something, I recommend you to write it very clearly here. It will allow you to, if you, if you don't like some changes you made, you will be able to go back in your history and know where to go back. So you just hit deploy. And okay, that's great. The deployment has been successful. And um, to see what your live app looks like, you just need to click again on development. And here you can see the live version. It has been updated, okay. Okay, so it is loading. Um, two important things about the live version. So um, when you are viewing the live version of your app uh, in your um, bubble editor, so here you can see it is the live version. You cannot edit it. So if I try to do some edits, uh, they will go back. So uh, the live version is read-only, so you cannot edit anything on it. Um, but and the second thing is that the database of uh, your live version is different from the dev database. So if you go in the uh, de app data tab in the data tab, you can see here uh, that we are in the live uh, database. If you want to switch to the dev database, you can go there. And note that uh, unlike the design and the workflows, which are transferred from the development app to the live app, the database is not transferred. So if you need your data for your app to work properly, you will need to input your data again. Um, okay. Um, okay, so we got it. Um, I wanted to tell you a, a little bit more about uh, this thing. Uh, so if you want to... Uh, go back to the development version, you can go back to the development version. And here you can access the history of live version and you can revert to your previous uh, launches or edits. Uh, as you can see, I didn't follow my advice and um, I chose very, uh, very mysterious names for my previous uh, deployments. Uh, and you can simply enter a date or time, uh, like you can copy the current time and go back, for example, okay, I want to go back to the way my app was yesterday. You can just, uh, you see, make the edit and click on revert to this time. So this is very useful if you deployed your app by mistake. If you realize there is a huge issue, you can go back to a previous time here. Uh, what I encourage you to do uh, when you are on the live version is to preview it and to check that everything is working uh, according to your plan. Because as I told you, the database is not transferred. So uh, you need to check that everything is working um, with your new database. Um, as you can see here, I didn't choose a custom domain name. So I have a bubble app domain name and I don't see anymore the version test uh, part. So now this is the live version. Now that your app is launched, whenever you will need to make new edits on your app, uh, you will need to go uh, to the development version of your app and make um, whatever edits uh, you want to make and uh, deploy again uh, your current version to live. Um, uh, it is important to note also that your app is uh, always like saved, like whenever you make a change, it is saved. But if you um, plan to make uh, huge edits and modification on your app, I suggest you to create a save point. So it will allow you to know, um, for example, a point where you were satisfied with your app. You can, for example, say uh, before uh, edits. I click on save and next, so it is saved to history. You can see history and re and go back to the time before your edits. So I really recommend you to do this 
because you it will make your your life much easier if you need to revert to the previous time. Your app is now live and ready to meet your users.